G'day viewers, Lawn Lads here, back with another video. For today, we have a very special guest. We're gonna introduce you to it in a second. Stick around, we're in my backyard today. See what's happening. Introducing you, Red Rocket. <laughs> Red Rocket. Cox Red Rocket. <laughs> That's the official name. Yeah. So this is the uh, our new Scarifier to our fleet. So as you're probably all aware, if you're on obviously watching our Instagram page, we have started a Renault business and we needed to invest in a Scarifier. We've gone out and we've gone and sold one of these. These are pretty robust from what we've heard. And they're a pretty good quality unit. And yeah, we decided to take the plunge. This is a solid unit from first glance. It's pretty big. It's pretty much the size of our paddock aerator. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a decent unit. So these retail at about $1,100 brand new. Thanks to the Henners and Moles for supplying this. It was the last one left in the state. So we are lucky to get this. And yeah, we'll just give you a bit of an overview of what our... We've never used it before, so we have... This is our first yeah, go. We haven't used it, so we've just put it together pretty much and turned it on once, and that's about it, so... We'll give you our thoughts once we give it a bit of a trial, but yeah, we want to go over like sort of what you think, first yep. glances, yep. look at it. Uh, it looks like a beast. I didn't think it was that big. I think we have a picture of this sitting next to a Ryobi Scarifier, so we'll put that on the screen now. Um, but it literally dwarfs it. It's massive. When you're buying, go and saw this price range, eleven hundred dollars. Looking at this sort of price range, you don't want to be buying something with a lot of plastic on it. You want to be buying something solid. Everything's sort of solid, nice chunky wheels in it, all solid. You know, rubber handle, metal, plastic handle there just to lift up the front. Um, this is all metal. Bit of plastic here to lock in the the arms. So there is a little bit of plastic, but most of it. Is all metal, you know what I mean? And tip the unit over, it's pretty heavy, you see. That's underneath. Look at the blades on it, like they're solid. They're sort of swing back blades, which are pretty cool. So if you do hit something, it's not gonna destroy the reel. It's gonna swing back. And it's got a Predator on yeah, it. Yeah, it's got a Predator motor on it, so it doesn't have any Predator labeling on it, but it is a Predator motor. You can recognize the font. We're in my backyard, so we've got about 40 square meters of uh, kike here that I give no love to because this is his backyard uh, but it needs a thin out so that's what we're going to do today our first run is going to be on here and we'll see how we go yeah Two passes through. That's a lot of coming out of the big cocks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a really good scarifying's coming out. That's not even that low, is it? And that's not low, but we can see high. how thick this lawn is. I don't think this has obviously ever been scarified, but that's a lot. <laughs> Doug, come here. Oh, mate. He's gonna just bend. <laughs> 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 uh, this is why this is his lawn. <laughs> um, excuse me, we're, we're trying to shoot a video here. We're trying to shoot a video here. You gotta go. <laughs> He's helping out. He's helping. <laughs> this is it one pass and that's what we've picked up 
So if if you don't know this, you can actually replant this stuff and it'll actually grow into a new lawn. That's for example a sprig. And if you plant that in the ground and you keep enough water on it, top dress it, that will actually grow. So this stuff here, you can use that to replant a new lawn. Jeez, mate, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> so yeah, that can be done. Like you can see, this is on. Look how much. Look how much growth we have here. We're pulled out. So this is on setting number three. So that is the lowest. So we've got a long way to go if we want to go lower. We're just going to go on three today, just to trial it out. Mick's not too fussed on it because this is obviously old mate's backyard over here. So yeah, we're going to pick it up now with the uh, Mazport 3000 President. Absolute. The Hulk. That is a sick mower. This is the Hulk. Yeah, it's a Hulk. Everything has a nickname. Yeah. So it's a, this is a great mower as well, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to pick it up and then we're going to see how low we are. And then you'll probably just drop the high a little bit, get it a little bit lower. That's probably it, so let's get into it. All right, James, give us your thoughts of this red rocket. All right, so this red rocket, I mean this red <laughs> rocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, it's a solid machine. From first use, like some of the things I noted when I used it was it's pretty powerful. It sort of grabs, you've got to hold onto it, so. Yeah, he almost um, fell at one point. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, So yeah, you have to grab onto it and hold it. Um, it's all controlled, speed-wise, controlled from this here. So you've sort of just got to... I found it probably easier. This backyard is quite difficult because it's sort of sloped, so you've got to get some speed on it. So probably, ideally, you'd probably run it like that. Um, or you could probably grab it like that. But this is obviously a bit more difficult of a yard with the size. And we've disconnected this. Yeah, that's another thing we're going to say. So this actually... <laughs> stupid as. This is the... If you let this go, the engine turns off. So we've disconnected that. So the way you do that is um, this little plug here plugs into that. So we've just pulled that out. So that runs runs back to the actual thing. So if you pull that out, that doesn't do anything anymore. So we got rid of that because that's stupid. So I don't know why I do that. I don't know why you have the engine turn off. Nothing spinning, it's just the engine running. So yeah. it's no different to a lawnmower, you know what I mean? So yeah, we got rid of that. But um, it works, yeah, it works good. It's a solid unit, it's really heavy. Um, which is a bit more awkward around this size yard. Like if you've got an area this big, I probably wouldn't recommend this size unit. But if you've got a big yard that's say 300 square meters, 200 square meters, you know, plus, I reckon this is a, a really good unit. You know, for $1,100, petrol driven, don't have to worry about batteries. Like Ryobi, Ryobi's are great, don't get me wrong. Um, they do a good job, but they're cheap. It's a bit flimsy. Um, this was going over rocks and stuff because I had a lot of rocks in the yard. It was smashing rocks everywhere. It's fine because it's such a strong, well-built unit. A Rio would be probably fall apart. So yeah. in that circumstance. So it is strong. Like I said, if you've got, say, 200, 200, 300 square meters plus, this is probably a great, great option. It's, you know, pretty affordable. And um, yeah, it's well-built, so. I feel like this is gonna 
outlived the Ryobi ones by about 30 years. Yeah. Like we used the Ryobi one, you would have seen it in our Renaults. Yeah. Uh, it just is very light and flimsy. And Sometimes it sort of hops against the grass yeah. as well. And it felt do that, very much like a toy. Yeah. It worked, but I mean, if you can get yourself one of these or hire it or something, yeah, it's much better. This is, uh, you can't even compare the two, really. Nah. You just can't compare. Them. Nah. This is a completely different you know, beast, so. Ah, the red rocket. The red rocket's very nice. It's got a good punch. Very nice. Very big red rocket. Yeah. Very good, powerful. Solid, solid punch out of this red rocket. Lasts a long time. Yeah. Anyway, hey, if you are it's somewhere, if you are uh, local to us or around that Bacchus Marsh area in Victoria, um, you want us to come out and scarify or if you, you want to hire it off us only during the week but only during the week but yeah you can um send us a dm on instagram and we can sort something out yeah we have combo deals if we scarify and air raid as well for you because we got that paddock air raider as well we'll look after you but um yeah if you're interested let us know we're happy to come and do it it's a smashes it i wasn't expecting to go this heavy so we our areas too we that we service are we're not just back around back it's marsh we do yeah, I'll, the whole Wherever. west. We do the northern suburbs if we can take a couple of jobs up. We do down Geelong as well. So, Ballarat. Yeah. All that sort of area. So, we're like sort of central to Melbourne, Geelong and Ballarat. So, we can go all over the west, past the Ballarat, past the Bendigo. Sorry, past the Geelong, not Bendigo. We don't <laughs> go to Bendigo. And yeah, the northern suburbs. So, um, yeah, if you need coring or you need scarifying or a full renovation. Yeah, let us know. Up. We came to come and do it. Uh, works amazingly. I think I filled up the whole bin. Well, I definitely did fill up the whole bin. There was like seven catches worth of green that's come out. For 30 square metres? For 40, I think. It's about 40. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to chuck some two-spec elevate down now. You just fart. No. I'm going to chuck some two-spec elevate down now just to help it recover a bit uh, quicker. That'd be its first furt forever, I reckon. Um, I've never chucked furt down. Just some liquids, but... Yeah, we'll do that. But that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for a, another one. Can you please like and subscribe to our channel? It really helps us grow. Um, and then we can show you more content on these machines and all of our other toys. Cheers for watching. Yeah.